Hi guys, it's Sahara. Super excited. I am back again with another Thread Up shoe box. This is my fourth Thread Up shoe box in about a month. I have been really enjoying their shoe boxes. Um, I've already sold a lot of the shoes I got from the boxes, so I think it'd be fun to do a video sharing like what I spent on the first couple boxes and what has sold so far so you guys can see how quick you can make a profit on these boxes. Um, if you're not familiar with ThreadUp, it is an online thrift store basically and they offer rescue boxes which are kind of like items that I guess they couldn't sell or just they didn't want to sell for some reason so they sell them in the rescue boxes. I pay $80 for each box which contains 15 pairs of shoes. So it breaks down to $5.33 a pair, which is really not that bad. Um, so I'm really excited to open up the box and see what we got today. I moved to the other side of my office inventory room. I have one room in my house that is both my office and my inventory room. That's all I have. We live in a small house, about 1,200 square feet and it's my husband, me, my son, and my mother-in-law. So we are definitely um, like squished for space having not only my business, but my husband also has his own business. He has a handyman business. So he owns all kinds of tools and supplies and stuff for his business. And that's mostly all stored in our garage. So we have one extra room in our house where I store everything for my business. And we're actually looking into getting a shed that we will put in the backyard and store his stuff in that like doesn't really need to be air conditioned and we're looking into air conditioning our garage and um storing my stuff out there so that's gonna be like our next step for having more space for inventory and that will be so nice so perhaps i'll take you guys along on that journey if you are interested all right anyways <laughs> let's get right into the shoe box hopefully it is as good as the last one and actually, like, I know when I made the last video, I was really excited, like, opening it and stuff. I found some really good things. But I was a little bummed that some of the, like, not-so-good things had, like, really horrible sell-through rates. So, I don't know. Like, I will honestly be interested to see how the box is actually doing. Like, what is the profit? And I think after this one, I am going to take a break from the boxes. Because my Goodwill bins has been having, like, amazing stuff lately. Um, so we've been going to the bins like a lot in the last week. I know I haven't posted any thrift hauls, but that's just because we literally got so much stuff. It just like was overwhelming that like I just wanted to get right into it, like listing it and all that. And I really didn't take the time to make a video. So next time I think maybe I'll at least try to make a video like of my favorite finds from the haul or something instead of just not sharing anything. So I'm sorry about that guys, <laughs> but I haven't shared any hauls lately. But let's get into the box. First things first, we have some really cute pointed toe, like a gold heel, Zara heels. Hope you guys can see that. They say Zara, size 39. Um, definitely genuine leather, at least I think so. I think Zara usually has like genuine leather shoes. Oh. It doesn't really say. It just says made in Vietnam. Okay, well, these are in pretty nice condition. Pretty cute. I like the pointed toe, the sling back. Really cute, I think. So, I'm happy with those. Um, I have pretty good luck with Zara's shoes. Alright, the next thing. Ooh, it's a decent brand. Um, these are falling apart. <laughs> it is not cool thread up. <laughs> You guys see that? Maybe I'm not showing you the best, but that's literally falling apart. <laughs> These are by Stuart Weitzman. These Stuart Weitzman shoes, I hope you guys can see that, retail for a lot of money, like three, $300 usually or so up here, I believe. So I do pick them up sometimes at the bins, but they tend to sit for a while. Like they don't have the most demand as far as resale goes. So you would not get what you expect for a $300 pair of shoes, but they're still worth picking up, especially like the leather, like boots, like knee high boots and stuff by them. They're like, I've picked up a pair before and they were like the softest, like nicest leather boots like ever. But I'm really disappointed about this. I'm honestly, I had like 
in my first two boxes each box had a pair of shoes that was so like not in good condition I couldn't even do anything with them and I didn't really like complain to thread up or anything but honestly I'm gonna reach out to thread up and complain about this because I really don't think they should be sending things that are literally like so destroyed no one could even wear that like if you were even buying them for yourself there's no way you could wear that yes I could glue it but I just think that's besides the point they shouldn't be sending that to people okay next up some more heels oh my gosh a lot of heels not really a crazy big fan of selling heels I feel like they sit a lot longer than other things Kristen Cavallari for Chinese laundry I literally I never picked this brand up so I have no idea about the comps and um, maybe it'll turn out to be a good brand just a pair of like suede suede pumps um they're in like a right shape not too many flaws so I don't know hopefully I can get like at least $15 for those I'd be happy with that because I don't think they're anything that special all right next up some Lauren Ralph Lauren flats flats not really flats <laughs> flat sandals and like a braided strap sorry I'm trying to figure out this strap that's what they look like these are in pretty good shape they're a size 9 which is my size but I don't really like these kind of like strappy sandals I feel like they don't have much support or anything so I will probably sell these probably only get like 15 20 dollars for those because they're pretty pretty basic not very substantial all right so this was the next pair <laughs> These are by Liz Claiborne, Chunky Block Heel Sandals. They're a size seven and a half. Liz Claiborne definitely is not that exciting of a brand to resell. Um, hopefully I can get $15 for these. We'll see, they are at least a pretty cute style. So we will see. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, these are Naturalizer. Which is an all right brand and they're Mary Jane's, but the condition is not that great. Oh, geez. Alright, so these are the next ones. Naturalizer. I feel like I'm not doing as good of a job today as holding the shoes and showing them. So they're like Mary Jane style, but here's the problem. The leather on this job is like decaying I don't know if you can see that and on the inside too so that's another pair that like personally I don't sell shoes like that like if the leather is like decaying and stuff like I don't sell that so I'm just really surprised that up would think it's okay to like send those out I mean I guess because the rescue box but yeah I will you know I'll see if they will make it up to me or anything but otherwise, I guess I'm just stuck with those. All right. Found one shoe, but I don't see the match. Here it is. These have a little wear on the bottom, but these are a brand I am not familiar with. They look like nice quality leather pumps, pointed toe. The brand on there is called Pedro. Um, Pedro size 38 leather upper so they do look like nice quality and this is something maybe I'm hopeful for that these will turn out to be a really good brand or something they're you know just basic black pumps you can't go wrong with that not crazy high heel which is nice um, so hopefully those will do all right I'll be interested to see the comps okay all right this is a brand that I'm, I'm not super familiar with. I've seen it at the bins a couple times. Sorry, I'm just rubbing the sides a bit to try to make them look less discolored. The brand is called Bruno Magli. I feel like the times I saw them at the bins, um, they weren't in the best condition, so I just passed on them. But these are made in Italy. So like a little ballet, kind of wedge ballet flat. I don't know like if that's what you'd call it. But that's the vibe they're giving me. Um, very cute. Suede. They got little bows. 
in decent condition they're real leather so i would hope for 20 25 for those but i'm not sure how good of a brand that is all right where's the match to this guy okay so these are h&m which i'm not a big fan of so i will check the comps because they are at least clearly a newer style like the very chunky i think it's called like lug sole bottom um, size 38 i mean they're in excellent condition so i can't complain about that but h&m is just really low tier brand so if these are not worth reselling i will take them to plato's closet <laughs> all right so we got some uggs at least that's nice and they're in like decent condition these probably won't sell for a while but i'm still happy with them um these are a size six and honestly i mean for uggs they're in really good condition they're the tall ones they i wish they were the short ones honestly the short ones were so like popular last year the really short ones um but these are these are cute i like the color a lot and for like the ugg suede boots like they're in way better condition than you can usually find at the thrift store so that i'm happy with hopefully get 30 35 bucks for those they will probably take a while to sell though like i said okay these look really interesting now these look like they might be one of the better better ones in the box just because this looks like some kind of foreign like european brand that maybe it's harder for people to find they're like zip tied together oh i do have scissors here still oh, let me be careful i don't cut the shoe all right let's see if you guys can see this it says like wow lover on the inside i have never heard of this but it says they're made in hungary i'm not sure on the size because there's different sizes but these are really cute um they look like genuine leather the bottoms don't feel that like that nice but it'll definitely be really interested to see the comps on these that is a new to me brand let me go let me know if you guys are familiar with the brand okay next up is some coach sandals i love coach personally i love their vintage purses and bags the most but their shoes like are hit or miss i feel like these are these are pretty like in season at least like just a kind of cork sole wedge sandal they say coach on the bottom really cute so I would definitely hope to get 25 for these at least. I will be interested to see the comps for that specific style. Okay, this is a decent one. I've had this in like three thread out boxes now. Okay, well at least there was some good stuff on the bottom because at first this box seemed pretty disappointing. These are Kate Spade Saturday. Um, kind of like a black and white flat sandal. These are an eight and a half. I mean, definitely were worn, but like no major flaws that make them like lose their functionality. So those are those are really cute. Be interested to see the comps on those. In the world, I think these are juicy couture or something. I've never sold their shoes. Is that what these are? Yeah, Juicy Couture flip flops. Do they have a size? I don't know. Hopefully, I can figure out what the size are on these. So, like Juicy Couture wedge, like all over graphic print flip flops. They have little like charms on them, like a little JC charm. So, they're in pretty good shape. I still don't really see a size on them, but they look like they're almost my size. So, like, I'll try them on and see if I can estimate what they are. All right, and the last thing in here is some um, Converse Chuck Taylor All Stars. These don't. These look really interesting. These don't have any laces. Um, I don't know. They look so weird. 
maybe they're like vintage i just feel like they don't usually look like this they say athletic shoes and then they have a thing that says player's name i feel like they look different than a lot of converse that i find i don't know so be interested to see what i can get for these hopefully i have a pair of laces i can throw in them otherwise i don't know i'll probably just sell them with no laces i don't know they almost look fake to me at first like just because this part looks so shiny it's like weird but i guess that was today's box let me know what you guys think i i wasn't quite as happy with it as the last couple that i got but it was all right and i will definitely be interested to see what the comps are so yeah overall that was my experience with the thread of shoe boxes like i said i don't think i'll be getting another one for a little while but i was relatively happy with the boxes i got and definitely sometime in the future i will probably experiment with them again so thank you guys so much for watching um stay blessed and please like the video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button so you can see more content from me thank you guys